Hi everyone and welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. I've been traveling around a lot so the videos have been more sporadic. But in the last video I finally got a green cash stack on the account and you know what they say, money is meant to be spent. So it's easy come, easy go and in this video I do finally finish building up a useful house obliterating my cash stack. <laughs> But before I can start level construction, I need planks, which means I need to cut some more teak logs. So I'll see you back when I get another wood cutting level. And to make this quick and easy, there's 80 wood cutting, 81 wood cutting, and 82 wood cutting. That's about all I need to do here. And since I'm done with cutting the logs, let's take a look at my side little house. And as you can see, I don't even have the bare minimum. Crafting table, two beds, and... Let's take a look down here. It's my lone portal down here. So I have some sort of a canvas teleport since that's not on the regular spell book. But first off, in order to use my uh, plank making method, I'll need to make a bell pull for my servant make things a little easier to call him towards me. And then there's that. With that completed, I'll also need to add a money bag in order to avoid some extra dialogue. So I bought with me a few gold leaves. For this and some other things later on and damn it should have checked this first but I'm a level short but that's why we have a crystal saw in the bank that'll solve that problem quickly and here's the servants bag made and go ahead use it it's empty and go ahead and deposit some starter cash in here start with two mil I'm sure I'll need a little bit more later on so my method of making planks is pretty simple, yet it can be extremely dangerous. As you can see, I do it here on a PvP world, utilizing the chest in Camelot, since I can teleport right next to it. However, if I misclick, I can quickly run out of the safe zone. This isn't even the most dangerous part. If you're watching, you can also see that while I'm in my house, the call servant button and the leave house button are right next to each other. So there's always the chance that I can leave the house, where I actually have multiple times, and I've been attacked as I quickly try to jump back into it. So it's definitely advised to not bring your entire cash stack in here as it'll be an easy way to lose it all. But like I said, the method to actually make planks is pretty simple. You enter the house with the logs, give them to the butler, he takes them to the sawmill in order to make them into planks, and if you're not in the house by the time he returns, he'll deliver them straight to the bank for you. Then just rinse and repeat for at least the next few hours for myself. So the thousand oak planks I got from Eclectic Dimplings earlier on. And here's the 25,000 tink planks I make. And we plan to go ahead and use almost all of them in order to get 82 construction. So here we go. But before I start construction, I figured I'd go ahead and use these bones I had in the bank. Get some quick construction experience. Let's see. Should get at least one level out of this. Let's turn that in. And that, that's about 20,000 experience. And... 58 construction, so we've got one level. That'll make things a little bit quicker along the way. So here, instead of proving that I can count from 58 to 82, I'll just run the screenshots of levels and talk over them. I started out using the oak planks, making oak larders, and then after two levels, I had to transition into making teak tables in the dining room. Then, at level 66, you see the main level and method comes into effect. Pretty much, you just stand in this location between the two teak benches, build each one, and then tear each one down. Then, as the butler shows up, you just take the supplies and send him back off on his way. It's fairly click intensive, but it's much faster than building any sort of dungeon doors, tables, or something along those lines. I've never been too much of a fan of leveling this skill, as it was one of the last skills I got 99 on on my main. I think I had the supplies sitting in my bank for 99 construction for about a month or so before I finally was motivated enough to finish it. It always requires quite a bit of attention and the repetitiveness just makes it boring. However, since I'm an Iron Man, I can't enter anybody else's house, so it's just that much more important that I have a quality one for myself. And right now, I don't have all the items I need in order to finish off making the useful pieces in my house. I still need to get a few pieces of the... Dragonstone Jewelry for the Jewelry Box, a Pharaoh Scepter from Pyramid Plunder, and I also need the Anti-Venoms to cap off the Ornament Pool as well. And here is the final construction level I'll be receiving for now. And oh yeah, I forgot the Portal Nexus is something I'll eventually be building in my house as well, but 
for now I don't have nearly enough law runes to make really a dent in any of the portals that I'll need for that so it'll be something for later on most likely after doing Zola or something and a quick farming level before I go finish building off my house. Alright, now it's building time. Since in the kitchen I know I'm going to eventually need to have some sort of tea made. I'm just going to go ahead and build everything in here. Not sure which items I need to have specifically, but I know the shelves, I'm pretty sure the stove and some sort of water source are going to be needed. So, here goes those. And the final one for the sink. I'm going to go ahead and figure out what else I need to put in this house. And I know I need to put an achievement gallery in here somewhere. So this will be as good as any for now. And I'll always reorganize it later on. There goes another 200k down the drain. And yeah, good enough for now. And we'll just go ahead and make the first piece of the jewelry box I won't be able to make it all at this point in time but baby steps and here's another way of transportation go ahead and build the spirit tree inside the house I got got to go get the fairies enchantment in order to do the fairy ring so for now I'm just gonna keep building other things I just have a long list of different pieces to build in my house on a sheet of paper right now and just kinda of going crazy no order and the way I'm doing things, just whatever I can find parts for. But there goes the venture log, and somewhere over here, and just build another hot spot through the prayer room, build an altar in here, and there we go, chapel. Another 50k down the drain, just spending money left and right. I think it cost me about 2.6 mil or something just using the butler throughout making the planks and retrieving the logs so it's been a pretty hefty bill that I've been paying so far and that'll be good enough for the chapel for now and here we go here's one of the most important items that I need in the house will be the pool so it's level one level two and I'll only be able to make four levels on this one Let's go ahead and get the supplies return and here we go pull level three and pull level four so for the anti-venoms pretty sure I'll have to make those myself but I'm nowhere near the herb lower level so it'll be something for later on down the road and here's the reason why I needed 82 construction because need 85 in order to build the fairy ring but unfortunately you can't use the crystal saw so I'm just going to have my butler go ahead and make tea for me, call him over, and he should return back here in a sec. There we go, tea. Alright, so it turns out he uh, actually goes and makes the tea. You get to see him go through step by step, and I thought he would just magically appear just how he does on anything else so learn something new every day didn't have to do that at any point in time prior to now but here we go sip it and build so it's one more big thing out the way and last but not least here is the costume room on my main account it isn't utilized too much however on here I'm always strapped for bank space especially with all kinds of items that I can store in here and pretty much just forget but it'll be nice to fill up one of these chests with clue rewards as well since that'll actually be what I'm planning on doing in my next video is getting back onto the search for ranger boots so here's the tab of clue rewards that I have so far as you can see I have 814 total spaces taken up in my bank so let's go ahead and pull out as much stuff as we can and see how many spaces we can free up on the account so speeding up through these clips you can see some of the items weren't able to go into the chest without collecting large sets it's a little annoying but there's not much I can do about that but what's also awesome is that I can stash these skiller sets until I need them later on but what's even most awesome 
is I can dump this eight piece lunar set if I had grabbed all the items the first time around into the wardrobe to hopefully never be seen again. So with all that done, here's the clue tab with, as you can see, about 60 slots were opened up in the bank, so not too shabby. And I think that's all I've got for this video. I'm pretty hyped that I've got construction up to a respectable level, and this house will definitely be utilized in the making of my next video with the addition of the fairy ring and spirit tree as I make the, another attempt to get ranger boots. So, as always, I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one.